Well, for those of you unfamiliar with the ounce, I think you now have a better understanding for the enthusiasm both Trish and I have for the ounce and the good work they're doing. Our interest started both in education and in early childhood very early on with our own three children. And we noticed very quickly the disparities that existed between our expectations for what our children should receive and other children in less advantaged environments. And I think to look at that and to understand that difference um, is what really drives the ounce. And we know that the ounce is just as committed to closing that gap and making sure that every child receives the same benefits and the same advantages that our own children receive. And I think all of us understand that our future is tied up in our children. And we want to make sure that all of those children have the tools to be able to contribute longer term. Today, that starts first and foremost with education, because we know that to be successful in today's world, you can't do that without the solid core elements that make up a great education. And that begins with developing a curious mind and having a safe learning environment. And we believe that if you satisfy those two objectives, then there is nothing that our children can't do. And whether that's finding a cure for a disease or simply, and I say simply in kind of quotes, simply becoming a great participant as a citizen in our healthy democracy of the future. But you know, it's interesting because, and this is part of what we'll hear about later today, that for the first time now, because of technology, we can actually look at children's brains and understand that part of their brains light up when they're receiving quality, stimulating education. And that's really fascinating, because isn't that what we want? We want all our kids to have that kind of energy. Now, as someone who's run a number of large organizations and employed a lot of people, I think I understand, as everyone in the room does, that businesses are only as good as the people that they employ. And of course, we know that starts off with education. But it's not just about these young people, because none of the people who work with us and for us are as good at work if they're worried about what their children are doing at school and if they're concerned about the quality of the education that they're getting. So there's a short-term impact, but the longer-term impact is even more important because this is not just about our children. In fact, they're all our children. And we know that because our children will interact with these people in a long future, long after we're here. Education is simply a good investment, and it's something that all of us should make. And as I mentioned, science continues to demonstrate in a factual way that the brain starts learning very early. And the best time, and the most important time, as the mayor said, to intervene is not when a child is in high school or in college, but in fact from birth and even before birth to make sure that their first home um, is a very solid and secure home. And that makes it easier when they approach pre-K, kindergarten, and then K, the full K through 12. Now, there's a lot of opportunities to give. And if you're in this room, it's likely that you've been approached for many of them. And ultimately, I think our decision to support the ounce is really about building the right kind of people. To get that right, we can drive everything else that happens after. And you know, my mom used to say over and over that it's easier to do it right the first time than to try to, create, cre uh, try to do it right or correct it afterwards. And I think the ounce is all about getting it right the first time, because that's what this investment is. So I think everybody in the room has this dream of helping a child and changing a child's life. And for those of us who are fortunate enough to be here today and who have the resources, what better investment of your time and your money and a bit of your wealth than to support the ounce. And the ounce is actually giving opportunity to our future. 
And for that reason, Trish and I are extremely excited about and committed to supporting the ounce. And we hope that all of you will join us in doing that.